Hello friends, thanks for tuning in today. It was so great to see some of your faces on Sunday. Today, we're going to start learning about the armor of God. In battles, soldiers use armor to protect themselves. We're not in a war against people, but the Bible says we're in a war against unseen powers of evil, which sounds even scarier to me. But don't worry, we're on the winning side, God's side, and we have a special armor to put on. Today, we're going to learn about the belt of truth. To help us learn about the armor of God over the next few weeks, I have my friend, Sir Louis Von Philip, who will be joining us each week. Hi, Sir Louis. Are you doing well today? Yes, sir. That's awesome. Here's your belt of truth. This will remind us that we can fight truth with evil. Can you put it on? Yes, sir. Awesome. Every week, we'll be giving Sir Lewis a new piece of God's armor. That sound good, Sir Lewis? Yes, sir. Today, we'll be learning about a battle, but it's not between knights and soldiers. It's between Christians and evil. But we're on the winning side because we have the armor of God, which we'll be learning more about from our Bible. But first, let's talk to God. So take your right hand and your left hand and slap them together and we're gonna talk to God. Dear God, thank you so much for everything you've been teaching us. We are so excited to learn about the armor of God and how it can protect us from the world. We love you so much. In your name, amen. Today, we're going to read from Luke chapter 19, verses one to 10. You may have heard this story before. It's about a wee little man named Zacchaeus. Let's begin reading. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man named Zacchaeus lived there. He was a chief tax collector and was very rich. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but he was a short man. There was a big crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree. He wanted to see Jesus who was coming that way. Jesus reached the spot where Zacchaeus was. He looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down at once. I must stay at your house today. So Zacchaeus came down at once and welcomed him gladly. Over at his house, Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now, I give half of everything I have to the poor, and if I've cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man, too, is a son of Abraham. In the beginning of our Bible story today, Zacchaeus was a dishonest man. He was a tax collector, which meant that he collected money from the people, and he gave it to the government but he collected extra money and kept it for himself. Because of this, he was excluded by everybody and he became a nobody. However, after Jesus noticed him, he wanted to come clean about all the money he was stealing. He even told Jesus that he would repay all of the money he stole. How awesome! In this story, the unseen powers of evil were working against Zacchaeus and tempting him to steal other people's money. But when he spoke the truth and was honest, he was given freedom from his sins. This is how we use the belt of truth. Another way we can use the belt of truth is by sharing the truth about God with other people. What are some truths about God that you can share with other people? You can pause the video now and share them with your family. Some truths that may have come to mind are that God is loving, he's forgiving, and he's kind. Even though Zacchaeus stole a lot of money, Jesus didn't think he was a nobody. Instead, Jesus showed him God's love and wanted to spend time with him, which led him to telling the truth. Before we go, let's learn our new memory verse with Hanali to remind us about the armor of God. Hello friends, we will be learning a new memory verse. It is Ephesians 6, 13a. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you can resist the enemy in a time of evil. Let's do it with actions. 
Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you can resist the enemy in a time of evil. As we go about our week, let's remember that God loves us in every situation and His love can turn our lives around. Let's use the belt of truth and share it with others this week. See you next week, friends.